Hey everybody, my name is Charlie, and uh, this is a quick little let's try of Frozenheim. I gotta say, I'm a little bit, a little bit too excited to try this. It looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. The music's got a very Frostpunk feel to it. Um, and as you'll see, there's a lot of elements for RTS in this game. That means real-time strategy, if you uh, didn't know what RTS means. Uh, they kind of tried to mix a little bit of Anno, a little bit of Frostpunk, maybe a little bit of Total Wars, Age of Empires kind of thing. They, they kind of tried to do it. I don't know if they did it really well, per se, but it, they did a great job of making it look good anyway. And we're going to go check it out right here. So let's have a, a single-player mode. Um, real quick for graphic settings, we're just going to turn everything to spectacular. Uh, and I've decided to UI scale it up just a little bit to make it a little easy for you uh, mobile people. So um, let's take a look at the new game. And I could, we could do the campaign, we could, um, but I think to give you a better representation of how the game might work and to just get right into it, I'm just going to do a rank, regular old sandbox game. Uh, it doesn't seem to give me any type of difficulty settings, so that's got me a little concerned too, but all right, let's go. And we're gonna start off right here. And first, right away, you can see it's beautiful. Holy crap. Every, all the models are just super, super well done. Like, look at the grass, man. Like, I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, really, but like, if you don't have 4K, this is 4K grass. <laughs> All right, so um, first thing we're gonna, let's talk about how the system works a little bit. So we've got the Jarl's house and uh, the Jarl's homestead, if you will, and we can employ uh, our people here. Now, I'm gonna take a quick pause. This is a real-time strategy game after all. There are maybe other factions on the map we might have to worry about, Age of Empires, right? So um, I'm gonna take the scout, and of course, this is the map down here on the bottom left. We got a lot of ground to cover for our, for our scout, but we're always gonna start near water. I think, I, I haven't seen it yet not start near water, so um, it's, I mean, we're Vikings, right? So we're gonna have the scouts, way. I think go this way. And while the scouts are sort of, you know, scouting, we're gonna take a look at some of the things we can do to build. So the Jarl's Homestead, we start with eight people, and um, this is more of our logistics building, if you see. This is the the range at which our Jarl's Homestead can operate, so like base-wise, there's not a whole lot of space to build. But um, we have a whole lot of different uh, buildings and stuff we can take on. I mean, I'm, I am going to pause it, actually. At the top, you can see that we have our team limit. This means we're up to 20 people we can support. Not that big of a, of a place. Uh, we have eight available workers so far. We have uh, zero active because I'm not building anything yet. There's two battle units. That's basically just the number of people who are actually uh, able to fight. Whether they're able to fight well or not uh, is not in question. Uh, it's whether or not they're just they're able to defend you and able to fight. Looks like we have a lot of, a lot of water around us. Wow. Okay. Um, you can sometimes find these little bonus little things here and um this is like a great way to like just check it out maybe there's uh, uh resources there maybe there's a quest there etc so sometimes it uh gives you stuff in this case we got a little bit of extra wood and stuff which is kind of nice all right building base building rise this is what we do on this channel right by the way if you're new to this channel hi welcome we play a lot of strategy games here uh if you like what you see maybe consider uh hitting the like button maybe subscribing all that stuff is a uh, is a nifty thing to do if you want to it's up to you i'm gonna drop a woodcutter's hut here near the trees and then i'm also going to get a collector's guild which is responsible for getting bog iron and stone now we have a couple of sources of things for this to do and they're all kind of spread out so i'm gonna start over here just building it near the woodcutter's hut there's an advantage to this and um you'll see it in a bit but building buildings close together tends to especially houses they tend to give pretty good benefits so the next thing i want to build is a fisherman's hut this is going to provide us with food and you can build this along the coastline and i'm going to just pop it right here i think all right so we're going to let people get on that okay and the Jarl's homestead we're going to employ at least two people here for now um again these are the logistics people they're going to move things around all right so let's get the scouts, oh, and we, we, got, got we got a lot of scouting to do, don't we? I'm going to head down the water with the scouts for now, just to see what we can see. Looks like we got a uh, shipwreck over here. Nice. Oh, oh, what's over here? Okay, we might have another 
fisherman's area. There's a local little quest here. Local fishermen. Our resources got plundered by bandits. Please help us prepare for the coming winter. So we can either give them resources in exchange for a boat. Oh, sorry. We can exchange some resources for a boat. Uh, or we can give them... Yeah, give us time to gather what you need. Okay. So we're just going to have them gather. Now, they want this much to help them. So, okay. If we want to help them, we need this much. Objectives will always appear over here. Ah, let's pause really quick. So my scouts are now running into enemies. And the enemies here are just a bunch of wolves. But there are four of them. And my two scouts are not very good at fighting. Now, this is foliage in the ground. You can see the different surfaces. It's not just for looks. There's strategic uh, elements to this, too. So this is foliage. It kind of hides us as we move. So we can sort of stay hidden until we're ready to attack from this type of position it's also a good idea to, to be in foliage and stuff if you want to attack from like a stealthy position like with archers we're gonna go around the wolves i don't really want to engage them in battle right now not with my scouts we're gonna focus on um when to engage them in battle later all right so the woodcutter's hut i want at least two of them here let's get one on the collector's guild and we'll get a couple people on fishing and then the other one will be on logistics for now okay so we're gathering wood, we're gathering stone, and we're going to, and, and bog iron, I guess, yeah, um, potentially. And then also we're gathering uh, fish for food. Okay, All right. now I want my scouts to head the opposite direction then, because I don't want to go near those wolves for the time being. Let's talk about how to expand our population as well. Well, we need to get houses for that. And I'm going to place houses really grid-like. Uh, I don't normally do this, but again, there is a strategic benefit to doing so. And so I will. So one here, uh, before anyone says it, no, there is no shift click here. Don't know why. They just decided not to give it to us. Uh, however, even though I don't normally do grids, I am going to um, sort of stagger these houses. So they're facing different directions just to keep it interesting. Now, why do I want to build buildings really close together? Well, because there is something called a well, and this prevents buildings from igniting and catching fire. And there's a range on this and a circular range. So having buildings close together means you can cover more buildings with the same well. In addition to that, every house gets a happiness bonus when there are other houses in its vicinity. You see this circle here? Well, there are two houses together. Therefore, each of them are getting a bonus for this. And if I was to add another house in the vicinity of both of them, them to kind of highlight here, it's a little bit hard to get two of them. But like, if you do it like this, you can't, you can't do it like this. It won't work. You're only going to get one. So you kind of have to bias it a little bit the other direction. But we're going to go about like that with it just to kind of keep things interesting. So three houses uh, right there. Then I'm gonna drop a well. Now the well has a little bit of a circle range, but if I can get it to be just barely in range of that, uh, I can't quite. Okay, well, in that, in that case, we're just gonna have to build another house over here anyway, and we'll go ahead and cover, wait, uh, actually, I don't need, no, I don't need to cover the stone pile. I can actually bias it up a little bit like this. There we go. So we'll put one well right there. That should cover every building we have thus far, except for the fisherman's hut. So there you go. Now we're going to really need to get an army very quickly. Um, we are in a oh, Viking God. area, and there's a good chance other enemies will want to attack us, not just wolves. So we're going to need to get even more uh, stuff. And I also can um, maybe get my shipyard over here. Don't exactly know where the enemy will be, where other civilizations might be. Um, we're going to want to get a hunter's hut too. Yeah. For hunting and getting some food. I like this. Let's go. Um, maybe we'll put it a little bit closer, like uh, over here, let's say. And I want a looking for it, looking for it. Where is it? No training field. There it is. I think the training field, I'm going to put it really close to the Jarl's place. Maybe right here. That should work. And then there's a boat. Now, I don't know what this does. A uh, constructed boat which transports units across the sea. Ah, okay. I say I don't know what it does because I've never built it before. I, I know it seems obvious. Oh, it's a boat. It does that. But um, when you uh, when you try out the campaign, there's a boat right next to your base. And you can't use it. It's just sitting there. So it's a little not always completely clear as to what it does. Um, let's go ahead and max out these buildings if we can. Um, and I might want to get even more fish. So why don't we grab... That's not it. Fish, fish. Uh, can't build it yet. Need more stone. 
Hey, no biggie. Um, I think for the boat, we can probably put it... I think I want to put it on this side. But we can't build outside of our range here. So we're going to have to only focus on this single coastline for a while. Uh, so I'll put the boat over here. A little bit away from the fisherman's hut, I think. And then let's get another fisher as soon as I can. Hmm. Produces food and skins isn't used during the winter. That's the farmhouse. I don't know if we're going to need that. Up at the top, you see this current season and also predictable weather. So a high storm probability, aggressive animals and bandits. So the, the storms make animals more aggressive. Go figure. All right, so we've already researched that. Let's get our scouts to move even further. And we have a gate in front of us. Oh boy. Let me guess. You won't let me through. Knock, knock. No? Can't get through? Can't get through. So we might have to bust that down if they don't let me through. They're not talking to me either, which is kind of what it is. Ah, uh, the storms look super good in this game. I'm just saying. Like, they did a really good job of making everything look awesome. But does it work awesome as a city builder? I'll leave that up to you guys. If you want to learn more about the game, link in the description, of course. Um, so we have our training field here. And we can train a variety of different units, including archers, axemen, scouts, shield bearers, and spearmen. But they take a variety of different resources to do that. And that includes clothing and furs and things like that. So we're going to have to get on that stuff too. I think the farmhouse is probably necessary in order to have that happen. So I'm going to put this over like this, I think. And maybe over here. Maybe... I want room. I think the farmhouse is the place that's going to need room. I'm going to put it right about here, I guess. And then we're going to want to put a well in so that things don't get uh, messed up that way. So put a well in. If you play the game yourself, you might think the well is just placeable and that's it. But you're actually going to need to make sure you staff it. If you don't staff the well, nobody's there to get it, uh, to put out the fires. Which is kind of weird if you think about it. You'd think that um, you know people would just act when they see a fire, but that's... Not necessarily true. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're only going to be able to get two houses from this. That seems to be pretty much the standard here so far. So let's pop that down. And uh, we're not covering that house. So we want to be careful. I think I'll, I still want more fishing. Yep, here we go. And... Oh, that dock looks weird. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, we'll go like that with it. Alright, so without getting skins, we're not going to be able to train any, any army. You have to clothe them. And it is winter time. And man, does this game look cool in the winter. I mean, jeez. <laughs> it looks good. I really do uh, appreciate graphical. Uh, you know, when, when, when game developers put a lot of time into graphics, I really As do appreciate it. Wish. Now, it looks like we have an army over here. Uh, we got some soldiers over here. And I don't remember having them. So maybe they were given to us by these guys. I don't remember having these guys. But uh, these four dudes can totally take these four wolves. So we're going to sneak up on them inside this foliage here. And let's go ahead and just get it, get it done and attack. And everybody just hacks away at the wolves. There you go. So nobody died. Very cool. And we killed the wolves. The threat has been eliminated. Okay, good. Aggressive animals. Done. Uh, let's find our scout. Where's our scout? Um, one thing I wish I could get easily is like a user bar or like a, a unit bar. I don't see any available units, like ability to quickly go to available units. I don't know if that's a, a thing that's a hotkey that I'm just not aware of or what, but I don't see that as a thing. Now this doesn't work in the winter, of course, like it said, um, but we can still get to work on it later on. Um, wait, is this the one that said it didn't work in the winter? Uh, isn't used during winter. Yeah, so we'll put three people here, um, but they're not going to work until the snow goes away. I In the meantime, it. I really need to get my scouts moving so that I can see additional lands. Man, we got, like, mountains in our way. I don't know. I don't know if we can actually go anywhere. This seems pretty small. Let's just keep going. Maybe we'll take our military over here. Our axemen. This is actually the first time I've been uh, spawned in and, like, seemingly surrounded by water. So it's very possible we're on an island right here. All right. And that I will have to have a boat in order to move over. Which is kind of meh, but okay. Looks like there is a boat just sitting over there, so we might have to use it. Just 
take our guys up this way. Scouts will move will move faster than your other units, uh, but they're a lot weaker. So there's there's a balance to every unit, and um, you know scouts of course it makes sense that they would move faster. They way. they usually have more movement in every game where there's a scout. You have like a shrine or something up here. A rune stone. Aha. Okay. I don't know what those do. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I briefly play tested this just so I can get the basics and then I went with it. So I haven't had an experience with rune stones yet. Um, if you guys like this game, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, we can continue to explore it if you'd like. Again, this is a real time strategy On game. So it, everything is, uh, well, it, everything works like any other real time strategy game you might have played Age of Empires, Total War. Um, you may have had things like Starcraft in your, in your past, right? And um, we have some extra people here, and they are hanging out in the foliage. Very sneaky. And there's three of them. Um, like, I could take them, but I'm going to sustain losses. I'd rather not have losses if I can avoid it. Um, I might be able to avoid them seeing me, but since they're close enough to the shrine, I think once I poke my head out to see this, they're going to see me. So I might back oh, off on that just for the time being and see if we can get additional, um, additional people made. Uh, to do that, I'm going to need furs, and we need a, um, a tanner, right? So let's get a tannery going, and we're going to pop that right here. And we're going to need that to go, like, full blast, man. Uh, so we only have five people attached to the Jarl's homestead. That means there's only five people able to move around. Uh, upgrades. If we can get these resources, we can upgrade this. Um, so take control over three rune stones to unlock the upgrade and increase building radius by 10%. Increase warehouse keepers by one. Uh, if you can get, uh, if we reach a population of 70, we unlock this upgrade and we increase our building radius by another 10% and increase our keep warehouse keepers by one. And then finally, if we can get wisdom, we unlock eight technologies in the elders hall to unlock this upgrade. And again, another 10%. So let's see if we can build the elders hall as well and right here and i think i'm gonna place this i think right next to here like so and this is gonna be our research area now i have not even seen the tech tree yet so um i'm gonna experience that right alongside with you guys let's get two people in the tannery we've got lots of furs so now it's just a matter of you know bruising in there now let me take a look really quick at whether or not our food supply and stuff is running it doesn't seem like they're um, the register is a nice little place where you can say, hey, by the way, we want to fill up our employment, but I haven't seen a decent way to see your economy in the game. So in other words, I don't know if I'm going up in food or down in food or what have you. Uh, I haven't seen anything like that, which is a kind of a little unfortunate. I, I don't know exactly uh, what the developer's focus was primarily other than aesthetics. That was definitely a focus. Um, but as far as the strategy part or the, the base management part, I haven't really been able to figure out what their um, their focus was uh, because they seem to have a whole lot of things going on but they aren't in my opinion they don't they're not really like the best at anything they have a lot of things but they're not the best at anything I hope that makes sense they're like going to Walmart for your musical needs instead of going to a specialty music store <laughs> I guess uh, concerned villagers our village is being raided by bandits who are hiding in the woods Please help us get rid of them, and we'll re greatly reward the Jarl. Okay, cool. We'll do our best. So I'm pretty sure that these guys are the ones raiding them, and we'll need to do something about that if we can. Let's keep right. the scouts moving, if possible. Uh, we're going to have... I think we're going to have these guys maybe hang out over here in the foliage just for a little bit. And it looks like we have a tower up top. Can we get the scouts over there without, without maybe messing them up? So yeah, there's a there's a base element part, there's an economy part of it, but it seems like there's a pretty big focus. Yeah, here we go. Uh, these are probably the bandits raiding them. So we've got a total of eight enemies in this area. That's going to be a very tough fight. Certainly not a fight that the four my four guys here can handle. So I'm going to let the let these guys sort of just chill in the foliage for the time being. Um, my scout, I'm going to let them chill in the foliage for the time being, and we're going to take a look at our base and see if we can't expand just a little bit more. I'm gonna take a house and put it here. And we'll put one more house over like so. And we'll pop a well right here to cover these buildings that I'm not covering with the other well. All right, 
the technology tree. Let's take a look at this because I haven't seen it yet. So it looks like there are three choices for this initial uh, deer clan. We can choose the deer clan, the wolf clan, or the crow clan. And there looks like there might be different benefits here. The Deer Clan grants access to development and resource production abilities. The Wolf Clan grants access to battle abilities. And the Crow Clan grants access to exploration and mysticism abilities. Hmm. Tough call there, huh? Well, uh, I like development and resource production. But um, I think the battle thing is probably where I want to go here. And in the spirit of Geralt of Rivia, I think we're going to go with the Wolf Clan. So, um, we're going to take Berserker and Ballistas. Ooh, interesting. Endurance units are invulnerable to weather changes. Battle Rage. Last man standing from any unit fights with double effectiveness. Whew. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can unlock the Ballista. All right. Or Berserkers. Yeah. Unit recruitment in the training hall. Well, maybe we'll go with last man standing here. And we'll research Battle Rage, I guess. Okay, let's put somebody on the well, just so we have at least one person hanging out on that. And Tanner is making f clothing. Very nice. We have 10. So let's see if we can train additional military here. So I want to get, um, I think I want to get an archer trained. And I think I would also like to maybe get a couple of axemen. I only have one at the moment, but that's okay. So we're training up some people. And uh, we can get more people in the farmhouse, I suppose. Maybe get one more house. Put in next to this if we can fit it. Uh, gotta rotate just a little bit. And it looks like I can fit it just like this. Okay, good. So that'll be covered by the well as well. Well as well, yeah. Now it looks to me like we don't have much resources left in this woodcutter's hut, but they do plant trees as well. But I might want to get another one just to get, speed that up, possibly. Can we get anything for these guys, I wonder? Because we have the furs and all that stuff now. So possibly. I think also it might be a good idea to get another one of these collector's guilds. And we can plop this back here. Because um, we have other stuff we can get over here too. So let's just put that right there. And I think to expand our population just a little bit more, I'm going to put a house right here too. Okay. Just look at how awesome this looks, man. Oh, and th this game also has a photo mode. So let's check that out too. Uh, it's It works a little wonky. Controls are a little bit weird. W and S are forward and back instead of tilting. You just use the mouse to tilt the camera. Uh, but you can get some pretty cool angles. And yeah, there's a resolution multiplier as well, which I suppose just makes everything just super sharp for a bit. So you can get right down in there and see the details of everything. Just like, look at this grass. <laughs> Uh, so, like, I think I might make this a thumbnail. I don't know. What do you think? Right here? Actually, I have a better thumbnail I'm probably going to use for this video that comes from the campaign. But uh, we can have physical focus as well. So we really just, you know, like focusing in the distance or everything like this. And then you change the focal length and how you're working with this. We can change our aperture and really just fine-tune that, right? Just get right up in there. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Change focal length. Oh, it's so nice. Yep. And then uh, I just kind of... Yep. So you can, you can get right in there and do all sorts of things. Like if I wanted to get down with, with, these, uh, with these guys, it doesn't let me get super far close to the ground when I'm near people, though. I'm trying to get closer to them, it doesn't let me do it. Ah. Uh, uh, it's close, but not quite what I'm looking for. Maybe we don't... Maybe we don't have the physical focus for now. I can't quite get any lower when there's people around. It's weird. Like, if there's not people, I can get right up in there. You know, right down to the ground. And then as soon as the people show up, I have to I have to bump up. It's so weird. In any case, that's photo mode. It's, it exists. It's a thing that exists. Um, the last thing I want to build in my base, I think, is going to be the... Where is it? Um, not the Elders Hall. Uh, the Druid. This is going to be like our medical, um, so we can put people, put our soldiers in range of this, and um, they'll heal. So I'll just like, stick you back behind this, and then when soldiers come back from a war, war-torn uh, activities, they can hang out over here. Now, to prevent attacks, we might want to look at also building some defenses, maybe palisade walls, things like that. Um, I haven't actually went ahead and done that before, so I might start with, I guess, the direction of the enemy, which is over here. So we probably want to maybe put a wall in 
don't know how effective that is up against the the water, but I suppose if I build it right on the edge of where it allows me to, maybe that also means it's going to protect us. Uh, we can put it like maybe from here. Maybe right like right like uh, that. I don't know. And then obviously I have to stay in the circle, this the circle area too, which is also a little bit weird. Um, I wish I didn't have to do that, but I do. So we'll put the palisade wall, I guess, here. Uh, we'll stick this around. It looks like it's going to wrap it, which is kind of cool. We'll just wrap this all the way around. It does look kind of cool when it wraps, actually. All the way around. We have lots and lots of wood, so we're going to spend it on protecting our people. Just a little bit more, okay? We can just hook it up and have it exist all the way over here, I guess. So we'll just... Whoa, what? <laughs> what? Wait. We could just go in the... Can we just go in the water? That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I don't think I feel anything about this. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it here. It, does, it looks to me like in order to build it, though, I have to complete it. It has to go all the way around. So I guess we'll put it all the way around the fisher huts here. And then just uh, complete it up like this. Is that is that the only way to do it? Whoa, how do I get, how do I build that? It wouldn't let me. Oh, hang on, wait. Aw, what is this? What is this magic? Hold on, if I wanted to build the palisade wall all around the outside. Do I, ha I mean, it, it seems like I have to complete the circle, but now I'm thinking maybe I don't. Like, can I just uh, stop here, for example? No, it doesn't let me. Okay. Um, so I guess I have to come back this way. We'll come over here, I guess. And we're going to... I want to hook it up. It does snap to this. But as soon as I click it, it doesn't allow me to complete it. Huh. I don't know how the Palisades work. Because you would think as soon as I do this, it would let me build it. But it doesn't look like it's going to let me. Yeah. You know what? Might I was going to say it might need a gate first, but the gate looks like it snaps to the palisade wall. Um, wall that stops enemy units. Yeah, I wish that was a thing, but it doesn't let me do it. Okay, well, we'll have to look at that maybe in another video or uh, something. I'm not going to mess around with a wall that doesn't build for now. Um, so let's get my army to come this way, and uh, I think we can probably wreck some heads now. Get a couple of druids here. We have actually have a lot of spare people. Collector's Guild, need to max that out. Let's max this out. Um, we can drop another, we can drop more fishing, I guess. Um, so Fisherman's Hut. Drop this over like so. And then I would really like to get a, a bloomery. Steel is produced in the bloomery with bog iron. So we can get more steel. We have both of our bog iron stuff being produced on these sides. So we'll put the bloomery right here. And that keeps it pretty close to where all the stuff is happening. I think it also keeps it in range-ish of that well, possibly. Possibly. We can also max out these buildings. We have enough people to, to do that. All right, good. Everything should be maxed out now. As far as workers go, it looks uh, pretty good. All right. Um, let's get some... Uh, I don't really want another scout, though. I'd like to get some steel, which is why I'm dropping the bloomery. And we have a lot of furs. Wow. Wow, do we have furs. Holy cow. Is there anything that doesn't take steel? That would be good if there was one unit that doesn't take steel. I guess it's a scout, I suppose, but... I wish it was something that could actually fight. Oh, well. Uh, let's get uh, both of our armies. Now, there's only one formation for your army, so it's not as strategy as a lot of other strategy would be. Oh, we have a fire. This is like... It's in range, so can we... Oh, we have raiders coming in. Yikes! Oh, guys, turn around. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, no. That's why it's on fire. <laughs> come on, guys. Uh-oh. They're setting... Oh, no. As Guys, come wish. back. Oh, get aggressive. Get aggressive. There's there's three battle stances, but their formations are the same. They don't change formation. All right, attack. Everybody attack. Get in there. Make it happen. All right, there you go. Keep, keep shooting. Keep shooting. All right, did we take him out? We did, but we are wounded. 
All right, so maybe I should put the druid over here because this is where our army is standing. Possibly. Let's go stand next to the druid for the time being. I did not know we were going to get raided. I've been trying to build that palisade wall too, man. That's un that's really unfortunate. I don't know how that palisade wall works. It would be nice to figure that out. Because that's like, that would have walled off our colony pretty well, I think. You know? I guess it wouldn't have necessarily protected this. Did they come in on a boat or something? Like, there's nothing over here. Come on, how do you build this? Is there like a hotkey for that? Or like, it, it seems like it should just connect. And it certainly does snap, but then, but then nothing. It doesn't actually confirm the build. I hit enter, I can hit delete, I can hit spacebar. <sighs> nothing works, I don't know. If you know how that works, let me know in the comments. It's not clear. All right. Maybe the tutorial tells you how, and I just didn't get that far. It's, that might be what it is. I don't know. Uh, Battle Rage, good. So I think we can probably go get Berserkers. They do not take steel. Can I not have that, though? Or maybe we... Oh, oh. You know what? I don't know. All right. Enemy ship has appeared. Oh, no. They're coming in, guys. I got it. Yeah, we're gonna need to defend ourselves. Defend. Shoot them down. Archers, shoot. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is an overwhelming force. Overwhelming force right here. I'm gonna need to bring my army back home. I was gonna attack these guys, and now I'm getting raided every which way. <laughs> oh no. I think we lose. That's <laughs> that's Frozenheim. There we go. Yeah, they are completely wasting us. I'm bringing my army back, but that's not going to work. There are six of these guys with shields. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. Uh, GG. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, GG. We can make two more military units. Maybe we can defend ourselves with that, but... Uh, holy crap. They came in fast. I've never been raided with a ship before, so... That was interesting. Can you hold them off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to go after this. We know they're going to do this because this is where our armies are being made. Come here. Take them out. Oh, boy. Wow. They are not putting up. Yep. They're not even going to let us train our unit. Hopefully, we can put that fire out. We have a well nearby. Come on, guys. Fight with all your might. Fight with all your might. We're almost done training. New units coming in. All right, get in there. There you go. Get in there. Holy crap, man. That boat right there. That sucks. <laughs> oh. Well, we defended it. We didn't lose, but holy crap. That was very scary. And then what do we do with this boat? This is the boat that I saw before. But I don't know how to what, what to do with it. Like, can I actually use this boat now? I can use their warship. Oh, that's so Viking. <laughs> Just using their stuff. Oh, that's good. Well, I have my own warship now. There you go. We can go raid things now with our warship. See if we can get some of this stuff. We have new military units like this. Let's get them to come on down here too. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, they might have raided us, but that's worth it. This is a shipwreck. Maybe we can get some supplies for this. Holy crap. I thought I was going to lose. First video, just done. Nope. Nope. We live on. We live. We live. Oh, yes. With a warship now. As you wish. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. So, um, we want to make a whole lot more uh, of this stuff. We we need more of this resource. And um, running out here. Stone deposits are, are low. And then uh, this is the bog iron here. We need to get more people given us this stuff and um I'm, I'm tempted to uh lay in another collector's guild in oh is, is this iron too okay this is the iron too um let's get another collector's guild right over here we can get some of that stuff ballista's done i want berserkers man i want it you need berserkers i got it i really want palisade walls but i don't know how to build them uh, I think we're going to get short on food here momentarily if I don't build additional fisheries now. So let's get a couple of fishermen's hut here. Uh, we'll go another one. Come on. Come on. Line up. 
Uh, line up. There we go. That's fine. And then another one right over here. Let's get three of these put in. Oh my gosh. A warship. I can't wait. As go. You wish. Out to war we go. We probably should heal though, right? This unit here. I think if we can get this unit. Oh, how do we get people off of this though? Is there an easy way to disembark? Um... Ah, okay, we just click the land. Okay, cool. But you can only disembark everyone. You can't disembark an individual oh, unit. Way. I guess we'll get you over by the druid. Probably should move the druid over here, now that I know better. Max out this. We have too many people. And let's get um, shield bearers, archers, archers, more archers. Archers are nice because... I mean, you can do damage at little risk to yourself as long as you have front men. So uh, we can get shields in the front, archers in the back, and call it good, you know? All right, let's get more people in here. Get Make sure we're getting food again. And we don't have people. Interesting. Ran out of people. Okay. Well, we did lose people when they died. So I guess there's that. We got raided and people died. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's get another house maybe over in this area and make sure we get a well to cover for fires, too. I'm going to put one right, I think. Uh, well, this stuff is already covered, right? So we just put a well right here. Maybe another well over here, too. If this doesn't cover it, it doesn't. Put a well right here. Okay, good. All right, army. Are we ready to go? Are we getting, are we getting healed? Hey, go by the druid. It's the druid? Yeah. Go, over, go by the druid. Get yourself uh, get yourself healed up. Huh? What you doing? There's another, fi there's another fire. Guys, it's right next to the well. Maybe you should heal it. Can you, um, can you put water on that, somebody? They're just standing there doing nothing? I think that's what it is. It's just like, if building is on fire and it's in range of a well, then fire is taken care of, right? It pretty much seems to be the, the way that works. All right, we've got a lot of people now, man. I think we go. I think we go. Additional military units are being trained, but you guys can protect us at home. We are going to take this. Taking the warship. Get in here. Let's go. Oh, we can't? Oh, that's the maximum. Okay. All right, so... Again, I would really like to be able to control individual units while they're on this boat, but it doesn't look like I can. I have to disembark everybody. That's that's unfortunate. Um, let's get... Um, maybe these shield guys can stay home. I think so. Get the shields to stay home. Get the scouts to stay home. Yeah, I know. The scouts can stay home. These guys are coming with me. <laughs> you. You're coming with me. Let's get in here. All right. And we embark on our journey. Forward. On my way. Which is not that far, actually, but I just want to see what's out there in the water. Cool. And uh, let's max out the fishing. Let's max out the well. Anything else that doesn't have labor? There we go. I can also do it with just this, or, but I didn't. Um, let's grab this, just in case there's cool resources. We might have got raided uh, with a little boat. Uh, this is my boat, of course, but I, we might have got raided with a little boat that came in, possibly. All right, let's see what we get from the shipwreck over here. I just like that I can use their warship. Like, that part is so good to me. All like, right. The fact that we beat them and their boat remains, why not use it? <laughs> I just love that. Most games don't let you do that, right? Like, the, the resources are right there, but the game doesn't let you do it for, like, balancing reasons or something. But uh, this seems like it's totally possible. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're getting in here. And uh, let's go talk to these guys. It says, our resources got plundered by bandits. Please help us prepare. Yeah, we can exchange this. There we go. So they're going to give us a boat, I guess. In exchange for those resources. We don't need your boat. Um, All right. I, I can keep going this way. I want to see if there's anybody on the on the water. Enemy ship appeared. Uh-oh. 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 Divert. Divert. Divert your boat. Right go, go, go. Get over there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, guys, we're in trouble. Let's, uh, let's go. Shoot them. Shoot them. The army's coming up the back. Yeah, I really want palisade walls. As you wish. Oh, man. This is, uh... Yeah, we're gonna get smoked here. 
Totally smoked. Maybe have the archers run away for a second. Can you guys run away? Run away, run away, run away. Disembark. Go get them. Go get them. This Oh, this brave axeman. Oh, this brave, brave axeman. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. We actually killed them. Yeah, yeah. We killed them before the boat got back. We didn't even need... I didn't know how many were going to be on that warboat. But now we have two warships. Wait. Do we just get to keep two warships now? Okay, apparently we do. I guess we just get to keep them. Great. So, I guess we'll just keep making new people and wrecking heads then. So, berserkers. Yeah, I want that. Gotta have the berserkers. In the meantime, uh, you go. Uh, let's see. You go. I want the archers who are not wounded to go here. And then the axemen, you're gonna go here in this boat. And we're gonna take that war boat. And we're gonna go across the sea and figure out where these other guys are coming from and see if we can wreck them because they are just constantly hitting us and I don't like it, so let's go. I'm gonna speed up time a little bit too so I can get across the sea a little bit faster. Where are these guys coming from? Get this resource here. Very good, just keep going. I got it. Where are these guys at? You know, I, you would think on a nice clear day like this, I'd have As more vision than wish. this. You know, like where's my, where's the vision? I don't have the vision. All right, hold on, we got, As we got a place here. Let's see if um, these guys are probably the same thing. Got bandits raiding us and all that stuff. Shipwreck right here. Let's see if we can see it. And go to resources. Right. Here we go. Nice little island here. That's kind of cool. Let's um, slow down time really quick here. It looks like I can't go that way. So um, let's let's have you come back over here. And um, I want to make sure my base is as protected as it can be. We have more people with axes. Right? They didn't actually destroy any buildings that time, which is pretty fortunate. Um, but I probably should have a druid over in this area just to help in healing people who are ready to go and then i think more shields and as we go i want a lot more arrows because arrows can start shooting at the boat before the boat and like disembarks and they, they can they can do things like that all right so it looks to me like uh we're kind of set for this video uh there's not I don't know exactly what else I could do with this video right now, but um, I got it. these guys uh, want help from the bandits as well. We can just go ahead and do that. They're giving us a boat, which we don't need, uh, but we can take our army and we can go forward. There's, these guys are getting raided by bandits. So are these guys. So there's bandits somewhere and we found them right here. Right here. Yep. So what I want to do is go aggressive right now. Shoot. Shoot them. So we'll, we'll hit them with arrows as we decimate the crap out of them with our superior numbers. Although our archers are on the low ground, which isn't technically where you want them, but oh, whatever. It. it doesn't look like there's any friendly fire or anything either, so our arrows don't hit don't hit our friends. But if we can take care of this, wherever this bandit camp is that's just decimating us all the time, I just want to get rid of it. Is it? This is this can't be it. There are bandits there, though. Doesn't seem like there's anybody... Yeah, they're just chilling here. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Hi, what's up? Jarl, your warriors look like weaklings. We can train them for a small price. Okay. Uh, so thank you. Weaklings. I mean, right now we have superior numbers. That's about it. So if our soldiers can be stronger, that'd be cool. Enemy army appeared. Um, yep, right here. That's just wolves. No big deal. Let's see if we can just shoot them. None of them alive. Um, hi, that's that's Almost. not how I want to do this. Yep, right that. That's how I want to do this. All right, get on the, with the shields. Yep. All right, are we good? I think we're good. Oh, we don't. We didn't scout this yet. Mm, yeah, it looks like we did. All right. So tell you what, I'm gonna zoom time ahead for you guys real quick. We're gonna cut. 
and I'm gonna get back in that warship, and we're gonna go and deal with all those other bandit camps that are over there, um, while also making sure that I have an, basically an impenetrable army on this wish. coastline, so those boats that keep coming can't do a whole lot of damage to me. Yeah, pretty much that. I'm gonna just keep defending myself with in superior numbers is what I need to defend myself with. So, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. Boat fight! Oh god, I ran into a boat. Boat fight! Oh no! <laughs> hey, if we move, if we move. Can we move? Come on, can we move? It won't let me move. Oh, here we go. No, they want to come right up next to me and fight me anyway. So, okay. Are they boarding me? Yeah, they're boarding me. Okay, cool. Well, we're fighting them. I can't tell if we're winning. I'm pretty sure we are, though. Yeah, yeah. They only have two people left. And they're just like little axemen. One, one person left, and that's it. It looks like we lost all of our axemen in that fight, but... Oh, yeah, we raised the boat. Yeah, yeah. Set fire to it. Let's go. Uh-huh. Yeah, we sunk the boat. <laughs> they came from this direction, though. So they're right around the corner here. Here's our base, and it's right around this near side. So I'm going to head over to this near side, hoping that they just sent most of their army at me. And then um, we can also get another warboat. We have two warboats, right? At least we did have two warboats. Maybe we don't have two warboats anymore. Oh, uh, well. Um, let's get uh, more axemen... And since we can make a scout, I suppose it's bo it's an able-bodied person. So, um, one thing I want to know, like strategy game-wise, can I set a rally point? The rally point's currently here. Can I move the rally point? Yes! I Wait, maybe? Yes, yes I can. Okay, cool. So the rally point's now over here by the shore. Nice. Uh, let's take a look at where our boat is. I want to know where the... Sh I want to know where their camp is. Is it, is it over here? Let's go take a look. Can we not go that way? Uh, there we go. It's kind of working, but not really. I think we're trapped. Let me just, um, something weird happening with the terrain right there. Also, let's, um, let's get this too, because we might want some extra resources. Um, the game really doesn't make you struggle at all for food, I'm noticing too. Our food is insanely good. Like, like we have a, like one hunter and three fishing and that's it. But they also really limit you in the your population oh, cap, it way. seems, too. So I guess there's not really a need for a whole lot of food. Especially since a large portion of your army is, well, like usually not at camp anyway. So, All right, let's see if we can uh, get our people to move this way. There we go. I just want to see if we can find these guys. So we can end the raids upon our place. I mean, this is what Vikings, being a Viking is all about. Almost. You know, go to the enemy's base, raid them. So, I mean, they came from this way, so that's what I'm really hoping for. So if we could find them from over here. There's more resources here. I'm also kind of hoping that we can take the enemy's resources. Yeah, see, there's a gate right here. Yeah, there's a gate right here plus a, a palisade wall. So I'm thinking we just snuck into the backside of somebody else's base. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, enemy just appeared. Right here. Okay, so we got some people here. There are three axemen. And uh, we got plenty to deal with that. So I'm thinking we can just strike with the power of a thousand suns. Make Odin proud, guys. Charge. Make Odin proud. Why is this archer not shooting? I guess he's not going to shoot. It says we're under attack, but that's not true. The real thing is that they are under attack. Yeah, that's right. All right, we have another army lined up and ready to rock over here. Uh, let's make more one more shield bearer. And then we got to get ourselves another warship. So if the enemy could maybe send me another warship, that would be really kind. You could just send me one more warship. I don't know what happened. I, I had two. I guess it just sank. I thought for sure I had another one. All right, these guys are done. Let's go ahead and send As them around. Yep, yeah, that palisade wall is... I guess blocking the path, but we can just go around it with a boat, so. And looks like we found ourselves a little hidden gem in here. What's going on over here? I almost feel like we're... Like, look at how deep that snow is, too. What's this? Merchant offering goods to travelers in exchange for resources. Show me your goods. 
Ooh, okay, so we can like buy a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, again, I, I don't see the difficulty in resources. Um, it's, uh, I'm trying to get a feel for it. But, um, like, we have so much food. Tons of wood. Uh, we're actually doing well on iron now. Clothing is, I mean, I don't think I need anything. That's the thing. Like, it, it's not structured. The game doesn't seem to be structured along resource gathering being difficult at all. So, I don't see a reason for this traveler. Also, we're Vikings, so can we just take it? Like, can we just take his stuff? Because, I mean, like, we're Vikings. Right? <laughs> right. Stereotypical Vikings. Right? Just raid and pillage and move on. Oh, well. What I'd like to see is the ability to find bases and capture them and then use them as our own and just set up a ton of different villages. That's what I'd love to see. Um, looks like there's another villager over here. I could engage and I'm just going to take these guys out. Let's just attack these guys. Kill him. Um, in the meantime... Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't need anything. We're short on whatever that resource is. Maybe people? I think maybe that's what it is. We need more houses. We could uh, get another house here and then maybe one more house here. Let's do, let's do that. And then also, like, windmills, we need to research that. What other things can we research? Level two, training. And quartermaster. Um, unit recruitment doesn't require food or training. Units recruited in the training hall have level one experience. Okay, well, we, that would have been useful to have before, isn't it? Uh, okay, so this is uh, Frozenheim so far. I'm going to leave this video here. If you want to see more, it doesn't seem like it's that long of a game either. So if you want to see more, um, just leave me a comment down below. Let me know about it. If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so. We got tons of videos on this channel. I release videos pretty much every day. And uh, it's like a full-time job for me. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. My name is Charlie. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time for some more Viking action, potentially. Bye-bye.